Okay, the highlights from Monday, November 25th from the live trading chat room at greatstockpicks.com. Uh, this was on one of our watch lists, uh, I think on maybe Thursday or Friday, I'm not sure, but uh, IPCI made this huge move. I said this deserves to be on watch. It could give a really nice trade one of these days. Well, um, then you had three days down on declining volume, and so this one had potential. This is what it looked like um, last night going into today's session. Let me move the daily out of there now. Okay. Um, and then on an intraday basis, what it looked like today, opened up strong on nice volume, kind of put in a rounded bottom here, but I've drawn a line at the open, okay? So my call for the chat room was if we get through the open, kind of turns the daily candle from a red one to a green one and not very far from a high of day break. So I liked it and it was only seven cents risk. I called it long um, 377, basically above the opening price with a stop at 370 and there's the trigger. All of a sudden, you get volume. People start to find it. Next thing you know, we get that new high of day print. And then other people start to chase it. And just a really nice move. It's everything I said that it could be. Um, from 377 went to 440. 63 cents move on a 3 or $4 stock is a huge percentage gain on only $0.07 uh, seven cents risk. And uh, some other highlights from today. Lionsgate, LGF. Just getting killed here on an intraday basis, which this one likes to do. Um, after a big opening like, uh, what was it, Hunger Games this weekend. Uh, they like to sell the news on this thing, but this one was getting ahead of itself. Volume, shape, everything. I went ahead and called this long at 3106 with a low of day stop. And it doesn't look like much, but we did get a move up through 3150 here. Um, so a good 50 cent move and it only took, and this is what I like about these bottom feeding plays when they work, you know, five, 10, about 15 or 20 minutes. And we've got a 50 cent gain and we're putting money in our pocket. And it eventually came back down and went down through the lows of the day. but. Um, not before we made our money. O-R-E-X. Nice gap up on this one. Then it pushed through the high of the day. And then when it came down and took out the low of the day, um, it met some long parameters for bottom feeding that I use. Uh, and I went ahead and called this long at 613 with a stop 9 cents below. And again, this uh, went all the way up to uh, 649. It doesn't seem like much, but on a $6 stock, uh, a 30-something cent move on 9 cents risk is pretty nice. And then... Uh, my, my last highlight from the day was Akamai, A-K-A-M. And this is just the opposite of my bottom feeding place, all right? This one's just getting ahead of itself to the upside. And uh, it got a little help from uh, a 15-minute chart here. Um, the 200-period moving average on a 15-minute chart can oftentimes act as support and or resistance. So now we're getting intraday shape to the upside, and it's hitting the 15-minute 200-period moving average. And I'll show you that real quick. There it is. That's that purple line. You notice that now these are 15-minute candles, and uh, it's hitting that purple line. And, you know, had trouble with it back here, too. Sometimes it's good to look at a stock and see if it's one that does react to the 15-period, uh, I'm sorry, 15-minute candle, 200-period moving average. So I went ahead and called this short right off that 15-200 uh, is what we call it, um, at 45.22. And look at that reversal right there. And it went all the way down to uh, 44 56 so uh, I think that was a 66 cent move on nine cents risk without ever uh, coming close to stopping out so there's the highlights from today I didn't expect to make much money and it ended up being a pretty darn good day um, just a reminder Thanksgiving week Tuesday should be slow Wednesday should be slower Thursday the market's closed Friday's a half day I don't think I'm gonna be working Friday so um, Tuesday you know if we're gonna make some money it'll be Tuesday and then Wednesday morning I think things are gonna die down Wednesday afternoon so um, enjoy your holiday week of trading. And then if you don't hear from me again, um, enjoy your Thanksgiving and we'll see everybody next week. But I am going to be in the chat room Tuesday and Wednesday, and then we'll be back on Monday. All right. Have a good night.